Hello and welcome into another video of Python automation series. In today's video, you are going to learn about word cloud. As we live in the digital age where data is so big, diverse, and somehow contradictional, we need some sort of tool to sort and analyze data from the internet, and especially the short text text data. Good. So what is word cloud? Word cloud, also called tech cloud, is a visual representation of text data typically used to depict tags on websites, in which the size of each word indicates its frequency or importance. Significant textual data points can be highlighted using a word cloud. There is a fun fact. Word clouds are used for analyzing data from social network websites. To generate word cloud, you will need to install three libraries, matplotlib, pandas, and word cloud. So you will need to open your terminal and type the commands shown on the screen. In my folder, I have a Python file, which is main.py and two CSV files, which are extractions from YouTube comments from two video clips for two different singers. The first is for Psy and the second is for Shakira. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and import our dependencies. The first module we're going to import is pandas. The second is matplotlib. And the last one is word cloud. And I will tell you about stop words later. Good. Now, Let's go ahead and read the shakira.csv file. We will have our variable, we'll call it RF, stands for read file. We will use the method readcsv and we will insert inside our file's name. R stands for read. Don't forget the extension .csv. Good. Now we will declare a variable. We'll call that variable yt underscore comment underscore words stands for the YouTube comment words. And we'll set that to an empty string. Okay. Let me tell you about stop words. Stop words are common words which provide no value to the meaning of the text, such as we, are, the, commas. These are examples of stop words and we don't need them. Now we will declare a variable called stop words and we will set that to the default list of stop words provided by word cloud module. Good. Now we will iterate through the CSV file. For value in our RF variable, we want the content of that variable and we will need to cast each value to string. Simply we will say value is equal to string method for that value. Next, we need to split the value. So we will create a variable, we will call it tokens, and we'll use the split method in order to separate the values. Good. Now we should convert each token to lowercase. We'll say tokens with each sub i is equal to the tokens also with a sub i and we'll use the lower method in order to transform each letter inside the tokens to a lower case. Okay, good. The last thing that we need to do inside our for loop is to join empty spaces before and after each token in that loop. We need to append to that yt comment words a space 
dot join the tokens and also a space after okay great now let's exit our for loop and create a variable which we'll call it word cloud this variable word cloud is very important because it will contain all the data that we will show on the screen it's equal to word cloud module inside our word cloud module or class we have a lot of parameters that we need to set some of them the first parameter is width and we'll say that it's equal to 800 the next parameter is height also equal to 800 the background color we will set it to white the stop words parameter is equal to our stop words variable which we defined above next we have min font size and we'll set it to 10 pixels now we will need generate method in order to generate our word cloud from the yt comment words fantastic the final thing we need to do is to plot the word cloud image and to do that we will use the plt alias from the matplotlib module so plt dot figure which is a special method it has two parameters fix size and face color the fix size takes two sub parameters the width and the height usually they are in inches fix size is equal to we'll say 8 inches and 8 inches for width and height the next parameter is face color and we will set it to none when it sets to none it defaults to white color next I want to access a method called I am show stands for image show to show that image of the word cloud then I want to remove the axis and I want the tight layout with the pad equals to zero this method adjusts subplot parameters so that subplots are nicely fit in the figure and pad right here this is actually the padding between the figure edge and the edges of subplots the last thing we need to do is show the image plot and we will call the function show and this is basically our program okay let's test it out I got an error because I have a typo in generate it's missing the E okay so there it is it was on the other screen so you see these words mixtape mixtape check appreciate different values and different significance that's why they have different font sizes and different colors cool so this is the file of Shakira let's check the other file of the singer Psi and let's change the color of the background instead of white we'll change it to black so there it is the other file of the singer Psi again we have check girl image to you and all these words are coming from the YouTube comments just to check and analyze the most important words written by different subscribers on that specific video clip great the last thing that I want to point here some of the advantages and disadvantages of word clouds advantages of word clouds includes 
analyzing customer and employee feedback, and identifying new SEO keywords to target. The drawbacks of work clouds. First, they are not perfect for every situation, and also data should be optimized for context. I hope you liked that video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.